federal investigators say this pizza shop was hiding disturbing secrets. The owner now accused of using violence and threats to force employees to keep coming to work. And he could spend decades behind bars. Hi, I'm Lisa Hughes. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa explains why the workers say they were too afraid to quit. The allegations are just disturbing. One of the victims who worked at this location told investigators the owner slapped him, choked him, and even broke his teeth out. All this abuse happening over several years. On the outside, Stash's Pizza looks like a friendly neighborhood spot. But on the inside, federal investigators say for 14 years, undocumented workers suffered horrific conditions at the hands of the owner, Stavros Papantionadis. The 47 year old is now charged with threatening migrants to work against their will, underpaying them, and even attacking them. I thought it was disgusting. I thought it was indicative of a bigger problem that we see in the state. Stash's Pizza, and they have an A. In 2016, we were there when the city of Boston honored Stash's Pizza for being clean. But the feds say the same owner preyed on undocumented migrants who often worked six to seven days a week without breaks or overtime. When the workers tried to quit, the owner would threaten to get them deported. The feds say the owner kicked a victim in the genital, causing the victim to suffer severe pain. When the victim sought medical treatment, Pepantionadis threatened to kill him or report him to immigration authorities. These opportunities to bring people to justice uh, do exist and should be known more. The Right to Immigration Institute executive director says labor abuses happen more often than reported. Advocates say it's important for migrants to know they have rights like other workers too. Unfortunately, this happens more than you'd think. Uh, this story is really representative of something we see uh, a lot in the state and in the country. U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins saying in a statement, the allegations in this case are horrific. This case illustrates the manipulative, violent, and abusive tactics some employers utilize for their own greed and financial gain. Labor trafficking is real and happening every day in Massachusetts. And it's important that we create the conditions and we spread the information necessary to have this not happen ever again. We tried to reach out to the owner and the restaurant, but nobody had a comment. The owner could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted. In Dorchester, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News.